Hi guys, today let's talk about my favorite engine of the moment, uh, the Pico P3X, and uh, we are releasing a new version with the DLC crankshaft, so let's have a look at it. Starting with the box, just a regular carbon box, we open it. So you have some stickers, how to tune the carburetor, the user guide to explain you how to break in your engine and the first things you have to do. The cone, some bushings, uh, caps, sorry. And the engine, so you can see directly with the cooling head that it's the P3X. It comes with the 7.5 restrictor and you can easily see the black coating crankshaft. So the regular P3 has the standard crankshaft and the new one has a DLC. It's a 50 euros extra, but I think it's worth the price. So it's the biggest difference with the new engine now, the crankshaft, it's uh, like hard coating can see a double screwed carburetor so basically you don't have to touch that screw ever and you just tune it the bottom end with this one um, the back plate has been machined really nice and uh, it has a rear ceramic bearing the front one is from Japan so many of the engines you have on the market have that amazing bearing which is really free and gives you a good ceiling but a really nice mileage so here it is for the outside let's check it inside now so i open it for you uh, let's start with the crankcase it's a new crankcase from 2019 black coated uh, it's really nicely uh, machined precisely also uh, really nice there is a serial part number on it you can see Really nice and precise machining inside. Uh, ceramic rear ball bearing. And like I said before, the Japan, Japan front bearing. Now let's talk about the piston sleeve. It's uh, basically a three ports, one, two, and three. And you have two extra intakes here that uh, just use that are used to uh, cool down the engine. Um, the exhaust port is uh, pretty pretty small, so you have a really good mileage, but still really good power. Lightweight, Conroad, machine piston, that goes with the piston sleeve. The back plate, like I said, really nice machining here in and out black coated also and the, the new addition to this dlc version is the crankshaft black coated so the p3x doesn't have the coating um, like i said it's a 50 euros difference but both have the red paste in it for the better flow of the fuel and the intake they're both balanced so here it is about the crankshaft. Uh, combustion chamber is uh, pretty, sta pretty standard. Nothing really special here. And the cooling head, pretty high for better cooling. So if you're running in high temperature, I think it's really an advantage. The engine is gonna be more stable and uh, always good to go. So here it is, you know everything about my favorite engine at the moment, the P3X with the DLC option. Uh, what I like personally about this engine is the torque, the high RPM that the engine takes. Uh, honestly, you can overtake easily some other cars in a straightaway, that thing is screaming. So you guys are gonna love it. And uh, what I like also is the mileage. So you can use um, any pipe from the Pico range, the 2099 or the racing experience one, 2135. They're gonna give you 
specialties like 2099 is gonna have a little bit uh, smoother bottom end better mileage the 2135 is gonna have more pop uh, and I think you guys are gonna love it for the fuel mileage depends on the driving style and the car obviously but you can easily go over 10 minutes and uh, I think that's pretty much it you guys gonna love it